Well, thank you very much for this opportunity to share with you our work. Um, to be shorter, um, the aim of uh, this research was to uh, obtain some uh, hydrogels or 3D structures that uh, can uh, entrap uh, the cells and uh, uh, to, um, to have at least uh, uh, to, uh, to have at least uh, three requirements. Uh, first uh, uh, is to be easy to perform procedure, then uh, to be totally non-cytotoxic. Uh, not from the uh, method point uh, of view and uh, as well from the, the components. And uh, the third one is to be uh, very close to microenvironment for a range of the in vitro investigations, uh, especially tissue regeneration, uh, but as well for tumor formation or anti-tumor uh, drug therapy. Um, what I have uh, well, uh, we know uh, very well now that uh, in vitro is not in vivo. Uh, Sometimes we can compare this two uh, type of methods, especially for testing. Uh, that's because in vitro uh, usually lack uh, for uh, different uh, components like uh, intercellular interactions uh, between the same type of cells or between the different type of cells. Uh, second one, uh, the lack of uh, a specific uh, uh, extracellular matrix molecules and specific uh, extracellular matrix arrangement. And uh, the least of these uh, um, uh, uh, events that uh, uh, are like in the, the in vitro system, uh, we can continue uh, from uh, topography, softness, the gas diffusion, nutrient diffusion, and so on. Uh, I will uh, provide only uh, two examples for uh, first is uh, two more microenvironments that um, uh, mean uh, uh, tumor that mean it's not only the tumor cells uh, but a lot of other associated cells and the products uh, uh, made by, uh, by these cells like exosomes or apoptotic um, body. And uh, very important in this microenvironment is the extracellular matrix that uh, is um, uh, synthesized and uh, secreted by uh, associated fibroblast cells. And uh, uh, in some uh, type of uh, cancers, uh, uh, overexpressed uh, some components compared to the normal tissue, like. Uh, for example, uh, for example, uh, hyaluronic acid and uh, so on. The all kind of enzymes that uh, um, degrade this uh, this um, overexpressed component. The second uh, uh, example is a uh, uh, stem cell niche that is a microenvironment uh, that. Uh, is nowadays as big as challenge of regenerative medicine, I think, uh, because this microenvironment is uh, very important for, um, uh, uh, firstly, for fate, uh, for cell uh, fate of the stem cells. And uh, this microenvironment, uh, firstly, um, uh, provides the possibility to cell division. Uh, but uh, what I said, uh, second uh, in the second uh, as a second role, uh, this microenvironment have a crucial role for um, uh, differentiation, and this microenvironment uh, have uh, uh, main interactions between stem cells and other kind of cells, 
the equality uh, of the surfaces uh, with which this cell interacts is important as well. Uh, the components of uh, extracellular matrix uh, molecules and so on. Uh, now, um, to be uh, uh, very uh, uh, short, uh, because uh, extracellular role of the extracellular matrix now is very clear, uh, that is very important and is not um, inert. Uh, uh, role of uh, extracellular matrix that uh, is a very uh, active and uh, from functional point of view. Thus, um, after interaction of cells with components of extracellular matrix, uh, a lot of um, uh, events uh, take place in the nucleus compartment with the uh, gene expression. Uh, and uh, uh, regulation, uh, uh, the uh, behavior of cells uh, from a renewal point of view, morphology, uh, morphogenesis, differentiation, repair, and uh, homeostasis. Uh, this uh, ASM uh, cell interaction is very complex. Uh, it's like a balance between generation and degradation uh, to keep this homeostasis of the tissue. And uh, many of uh, these uh, events are uh, didn't uh, completely understand it yet. Uh, but it is clear that uh, uh, now that uh, some uh, three-dimensional um, a system could be a promising tools for future medicine uh, because they provide uh, those uh, specific cell cell interaction, uh, limited the cell spreading, um, keep some uh, molecular gradients, and as well uh, do uh, specific um, connection between cells and extracellular matrix uh, compared to the bidimensional um, plastic dish uh, in which we usually test uh, a lot of uh, uh, materials uh, with the role of biomaterials. That's an appropriate uh, interaction between the extracellular matrix and cell could provide uh, more close, more tissue-like uh, structures, uh, and uh, the testings could be uh, more precise. Uh, uh, well, uh, today is uh, um, many strategies. Uh, there are many strategies to populate uh, scaffolds from the um, passive uh, static uh, migration of cell to material uh, and uh, encapsulation, non-adhesive adhesive encapsulation to the latest one like uh, uh, microfluidics or bioprinting. Um, even uh, there are uh, a lot of methods uh, uh, we know that uh, we still face the problem uh, like biocompatibility, uh, reproducibility, uh, contamination, bacterial or chemical, but I think that it's uh, very important um, you face uh, the cell fate controlling. Uh, that I think is the biggest, uh, um, uh, biggest uh, uh, problem. Uh, to achieve some uh, practical results for uh, uh, tissue regeneration or some uh, treatment. Uh, well, in our research, uh, we um, uh, try to achieve uh, this um, uh, kind of uh, ACM-like composition for uh, cell entrapping for uh, matrix population. And uh, from this, uh, in this uh, uh, we use uh, two components. Uh, first component, collagen type one fibers, that is a 
adenocollagen and collagen um, uh, that uh, is uh, provided for cell cultures. And the second component uh, was the polysaccharide, uh, which are oxidized to gain cross-linking ability. Uh, well, uh, we um, obtained two structures, first uh, collagen with oxidized cytosan and second one collagen with oxidized uh, hyaluronic acid. And uh, these two structures uh, we uh, populate uh, with primary animal dermal fibroblast and uh, with uh, um, a tumor cell line. Um, Sorry, uh, the uh, experimental steps was uh, first polysaccharide oxidation, and then obtaining of cell populated hydrogels and uh, evaluation of uh, hydrogel. Uh, oxidation we started with the one percent chitosan solution and the one percent of hyaluronic acid solution. Uh, we start the uh, oxidation process with uh, uh, was initiated with uh, uh, sodium periodate uh, that uh, was added dropwise on the continuous steering for 24 hours. Uh, the react uh, reaction uh, <clears throat> was stopped by ethylene glycol, and the product uh, of the reaction was. Um, uh, purified uh, through uh, dialysis and uh, then uh, freeze dried and then stored uh, at fridge temper uh, temperature at uh, 4 uh, degrees. Uh, by this method, uh, some uh, uh, functional uh, groups uh, was achieved uh, uh, that. Um, uh, some aldehyde groups that uh, would interact with the uh, amide group of collagen molecules uh, for chitosan as uh, for uh, hyaluronic acid as well. Uh, well, um, as a uh, hydrogel uh, synthesis, uh, we um, uh, start from uh, 6 mg per milliliter collagen solution. We neutralize. Uh, to achieve a uh, physiological pH or uh, very close to a ne uh, neutral one. And uh, uh, then um, uh, dilute this uh, collagen solution with uh, culture media and uh, 10 times uh, concentrated PBS. Uh, then uh, this um, uh, solution of collagen was mixed with uh, uh, cells. Uh, after uh, the uniform uh, mixing, uh, the cross-linking that uh, was uh, uh, oxidized chitosan or oxidized hyaluronic acid uh, was added. And uh, uh, as a final composition, we achieved um, uh, 2.81 weight to weight uh, ratio to collagen oxidized polysaccharide. And the final uh, concentration of collagen was uh, uh, 3 milligram per milligram. We populate or we uh, embed in these uh, hydrogels uh, 20 uh, thousands of primary fibroblasts. Uh, or uh, 40,000 uh, uh, carcinoma, uh, epithelial carcinoma cell line A431, and uh, then incubated uh, at 37 degrees and uh, um, uh, high humidity and uh, the, the appropriate concentration of CO2 like uh, for cell cultures and uh, after 20 minutes uh, of incubation uh, so kind of uh, uh, structure hydrogels we obtain uh, that uh, we consider is enough quick uh, to uh, don't allow 
to, to sell, to, to, uh, to seed, uh, to populate the bottom, uh, bottom of the uh, cultural vessel, uh, vessels, and uh, um, uh, enough slow to don't stress uh, populated cells. As a first uh, uh, observation, we could see that uh, in case of, uh, in both case of uh, uh, hydrogels, uh, after eight days of uh, 3D cultures, uh, we saw uh, live cells. Um, the live cells was uh, identified by calcium, uh, calcium IM live staining and uh, visualized. The, in the fluorescent light. And uh, if uh, uh, by comparing this two, we can easily see that uh, hyaluronic acid have a, uh, a higher, um, better uh, performance to uh, maintain cell viability and to produce or uh, provide uh, cell um, uh, proliferation because in some um, uh, sites like this one, we can see two cells in process of division. And uh, uh, another um, uh, observation like uh, this one uh, that uh, demonstrate that uh, cells inside of hydrogel I can, uh, can proliferate, not only uh, survive. Uh, uh, using another uh, staining, um, uh, we saw that fibroblast, because, uh, sorry, I didn't mention this uh, fibroblast. Um, uh, we um, highlight uh, first uh, nucleus, uh, cellular nucleus with DAPI uh, staining, and with the uh, following neuron, I mean, we uh, uh, highlight the cytoskeleton of cells, uh, we can see that uh, uh, this is the um, example of hyaluronic in hydrogen. Uh, this kind of composition, this uh, composition, uh, sorry, um, uh, maintain uh, the organization, normal organization of uh, uh, cell cytoskeleton that is very important for cell viability. Well, from this observation, we extend our um, research to a carcinoma cell line. And uh, um, in this case, uh, we use only HA uh, cross link collagen. And uh, 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 observe that uh, in um, uh, face contrast image, like in uh, uh, or fluorescent image, uh, some um, big uh, isos of cells uh, could be seen, uh, viable cells could be seen. Uh, as a, um, a further analysis of this, uh, uh, of this uh, uh, cell, uh, formations, um, we could observe uh, that after following uh, staining that uh, highlight the cytoskeleton, you can see the uh, actin fibers that are uh, disposed uh, evenly uh, around the nucleus and form a specific uh, networks uh, for a, a live and a very well uh, functional cells. Uh, after double staining of this um, uh, of this um, uh, cell population, you can see that uh, uh, they uh, tightly pack the cells uh, because that we highlight the nucleus of cells. You can see this kind of micro uh, spheres uh, with uh, uh, many. Uh, Many cells uh, tightly packed. Uh, uh, we can see as well what, uh, that uh, in some cases the spheres uh, tend to, to interact 
and form uh, like a, a specific tumor uh, microenvironment. Uh, thus, uh, uh, from this uh, study, uh, we conclude that uh, both uh, kytosan uh, uh, oxidized uh, with uh, collagen and hyaluronic uh, oxidized hyaluron acid with collagen uh, could at least uh, uh, maintain the viability for eight days. But the beta functional performance uh, we um, observe for uh, hyaluron uh, cross linear collagen hydrogel uh, for both normal and tumor cells. Uh, this results uh, shown that uh, uh, this uh, hyaluronic, uh, oxidized hyaluronic uh, with collagen uh, hydrogels promote. Uh, intercellular contacts as well as um, uh, formation of multicellular tumoral that provide a physiologically relevant tumor uh, microenvironment. Uh, this was the uh, preliminary uh, results with this uh, hyaluronic uh, uh, hyaluron acid collagen hydrogels and uh, uh, I think uh, uh, very uh, one of the very important conclusion was that uh, this uh, is a very easy to uh, implement system and uh, could be promising experimental model for, for tumor research. And then feature in our future investigation, we uh, want to, um, uh, to uh, develop uh, this uh, uh, hydrogels uh, and uh, uh, use uh, it in the uh, uh, anti-tumor drug uh, delivery uh, as an anti-tumor drug delivery system uh, testings uh, because uh, we saw this uh, excellent uh, microenvironment uh, uh, simulation uh, from this system. Uh, thank you very much.